Hello YouTube people, today is Friday, well not the black one yet, the next one is Black Friday and Aliexpress and Amazon Black Friday sales are coming up and I just want to talk about some watches that I would recommend checking out. I already did video on Aliexpress 1111 sale, so it's the same thing, uh, the video is already done. If you want to see watches that I would recommend checking out on Aliexpress, the link in the description, check out that video. Today I'm gonna talk about watches that I would recommend checking out on Amazon and it's very simple, you don't even need to watch this video. <laughs> Just go to my website thomaswatchreviews.com where I categorize watches into different tiers and all you need to see is God tier and the keepers. God tier is well obviously God tier and the keepers it's not like the watch is good let's put it into keepers. No, the watch has to be somewhat exciting, so something has to be very special about the watch. It has to be either super very pretty or a lot of fun or very cool. But I have to feel with that watch like a little kid who opens a Kinder Surprise and finds a nice toy inside and I'm like, Ooh, wow, that's amazing. But that feeling has to persist throughout the time and only then I gonna put that watch into keepers. So that watch has to be really something special so all the watches in the keepers are really very strong recommendation so first of all before i start few uh, disclaimers you're gonna find affiliate links if you buy something using those affiliate links i am gonna earn smaller commission also all the pictures on my website are done by me of my own watches and all the watches you're gonna find on my website are the ones that i have bought with my own money had my own personal experience and did review on each of them. So let's start with the God tier. These watches don't even need introduction. I still have these watches, of course I do. <laughs> so I am currently wearing F91W. And I mean, look how, how good it looks like. And what I like the most about this watch, it's even though it's plasticky digital watch, but look, with this style shirt on me, on geeky person, this watch just looks apart. It just doesn't look out of place even with the rest style shirt. It fits the theme. I mean, this watch is wonderful. I absolutely love this watch. And there is another very similar watch, uh, I would say. Uh, it's, it feels the same, except it is analog. It's sister watch of F91W MQ24. And absolutely love this watch. Also bought one uh, to my mom and she loves that watch. She wears that watch daily. I also wear this watch daily. So we both wear the same watch daily basically. <laughs> How cool is that? Absolutely wonderful watch. Love it, love it, love it. Very strong recommendation. Come on, just 15 euros for this amount of fun. Buy it. If you don't like it, give it away to your mom, to your sister, to your brother. Doesn't matter. You will find someone who loves this watch anyway. <laughs> Perfect Christmas gift as well. <laughs> Wonderful watch. Now, another God tier watch, also Casio, <laughs> is this MTP 1200. And the problem with this watch that I think it is out of production and it's very difficult to find it. I saw only one available currently on Amazon DA on Germany with silver dial. It's also amazing. Silver dial looks very good in person, looks very rich and you won't see fingerprints as easily as with this black dial. So this watch, 37 millimeters sapphire crystal, 50 meters water resistance. Absolute strap monster, looks amazing on any strap. Original bracelet, as horrible as it can get. And yeah, in my opinion, this is the most elegant Casio watch ever made. That's my opinion. God tier. Now let's move on to the keepers. Okay, the keeper. So the first keeper is Invicta Pro Diver. And well, you could argue that you can get a lot better watch on Aliexpress. You could get for the same money Sapphire Crystal and Ceramic Bezel, etc, etc. And technically I agree with you, but Invicta Pro Diver is in the keepers because this watch is just very lovely. It is a lot of fun. And I'm talking about the one with scalped bezel. The one with coinage bezel to me is too much of a copy of a Rolex to be honest and I just prefer how sculpt bezel plays out in the light over the coinage bezel. Personal preference really but I just like the looks of sculpt bezel a little bit better. Very lovely watch, a lot of fun. That's why it is in the keepers. 
Now another Amazon watches in the keepers are these two Casios that have shiny plastic cases. And I hate shiny plastic cases. And these are only two shiny plastic watches in the keepers. So they have to have something very special to overcome that negativity of scratchable shiny <laughs> shiny case. So the first Casio it's special in the way that it has very stealthy kind of uh, black dial. It doesn't have any blue lines, nothing, it's just stealthy black. And it looks very good with F91W strap and modified negative LCD screen. I mean, just look at this watch. It looks amazing. This watch is amazing. That's why it isn't keepers, because it's amazing, even though it's very easy to scratch. Another scratch magnet <laughs> is this dress style digital watch and that's exactly why it is in the keepers because it's a dress style digital watch. How cool is that? And I mean look at the screen how sharp it is. This is a wonderful watch. It's very slim. It, won it is wonderful I'm telling you. And this bracelet, mesh style bracelet is also very good quality as well. By the way look it's already scratched. Oh yeah so it's a scratch magnet but it feels so wonderful that despite the fact that it's easy to scratch, I still put this watch in the keepers because I think it deserves that. Now F91W in the keepers. So how can the same watch be in the keepers and a Gautier? Now this one you see is golden version. It has golden buttons, golden screen and golden ornaments. And I prefer the blue one, the blue ornaments over this one. But this one is also very beautiful, very nice watch, but just not god level nice. That's why it is in the keeper. And it looks very nice with negative LCD screen. Wonderful watch, very strong keeper. Now these two G-Shocks, 5600BB and 5750E. This is basically the same watch, except 5750E doesn't have text on the dial next to the, next to the buttons as 5600 BB has this text and I mean man just look at this watch in my personal opinion this is the coolest G-Shock ever made I mean just look at this watch do I even need to say anything oh my god what a beauty and it's also beautiful yeah <laughs> in my opinion but this one is also it's also a very cool watch and I do have it so here is that cool G-Shock amazing watch wonderful watch i love this negative lcd screen it's very good and it has very nice blue shade in the in the light and look i will show you one trick look this is 50 hold on this is 5750e right look i'll take the bezel off let's put the bezel off 5600 bb and we have almost <laughs> 5600 bb this quickly I can change it up and have fun with this watch. And the only reason why 5600 BB is not in the god tier is because, well, two, two reasons. I hate those buttons of G-Shock. They are very annoying, very overprotected. They're just annoying. And another reason, the timer on this watch doesn't have function where it can go back in numbers. So only to those two things. If it wouldn't have those two problems, it will be a god tier G-Shock. That's how close it is. And I personally prefer the square one over this one a little bit, but the difference isn't really that big. It depends on the day, actually. <laughs> now, this G-Shock. This is very good value for money, and I think this is actually pretty G-Shock. It looks nice. It doesn't look nice in pictures. Uh, in pictures, this blue line looks very bold. But in person it is not that strong and it actually looks nice. I like this blue line. And the, speaking about value for money, it costs basically the same as 5610. And this one is a lot better watch. It has a lot better module. And I'm not going to go into details. Check the review of this watch if you want to see all those, all those things. So yeah, very, very good watch. Definitely deserves to be in the keepers. Now, Festina. I believe Festina makes best looking dress watches for under 100 euros. I mean, just look at this thing. What I like the best about this watch is these hands, very nice hands. 
And I like these little bubbles of metal, shiny bubbles of metal. Also these numbers are applied in a very thick fat way and it just looks beautiful. Nothing looks out of place. It's very elegant looking watch. Very very nice watch. In person it looks a lot better than in pictures. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, really strong recommendation. I actually recommend any Festina dress style watch for under 100 euros. I think they all look wonderful. Very strong keeper watch. Now this edifice watch. This applies to edifice 110 and 100D. And the only thing keeping this watch away from the god tier is that it has mineral crystal. If this watch would have factory default sapphire crystal, I would put this watch into god tier. That's how good this watch is. Absolutely love it. It looks amazing. It has very strong 3D effect. You won't see that in pictures, but when you see it in person, this dial looks very much alive. This is a very cute, very nice watch and it's very durable. 100 meters water resistance, screw down crown, very good quartz, reliable, accurate movement. Very good watch. Now this G-Shock. My wife says this is the coolest looking G-Shock ever. I would say, no, no, I'm not sure. I would say 5600 BB is a little bit cooler looking one. I would agree that this one is a, a little bit prettier watch than 5600 BB. But, I mean, it's completely just personal, subjective opinion. Nevertheless, this watch is just amazing. Definitely deserves to be in the keepers. Now, this little Casio. Wow, this watch is so lovely. It's so cute. Technically, it is better than F91W. It has 50 meters water resistance. Very strong backlight if you, if you want that. And it has, you know what, I'm just gonna show you <laughs> what it has. <laughs> because I have it. So... It also has these straps with holes, so it's a lot more breathe well, a little bit more breathable than F91W in the summer. I also converted the screen into negative one, so yeah. It com in comparison to F91W, this one looks a little bit sportier, so it doesn't really look nice with this shirt as if F91W, but. It's, it's a very lovely watch. That's why it is in the keepers. Now this Casio Edifice watch. A pancake of a watch. It is an incredible watch. I mean the attention to detail. The finishing of the case. I could talk and talk about this watch. You definitely have to check out the review of this watch. I tried my best showing it at all angles possible. <laughs> it looks very impressive in person. One thing, I don't really like those screws. They are fake screws. I here just for looks. You, you like them, you hate them, doesn't matter. This watch is still very, very good. I mean, look at the macro shot, how beautiful the texture of the dial is, all the print, everything. This watch in person looks very impressive. It also has very good quality leather, leather strap. And the last watch from Amazon in the Keepers is this Casio. At first, my opinion was very bad about this watch. I thought it's gonna be just a very cheap, nasty, plastic fantastic watch and when I bought this watch and tested it out my opinion changed 180 degrees this is such an incredible watch it is a very lovely watch and I mean look at this picture it looks like I photoshopped uh, this, uh, this acrylic crystal out and actually this is how it looks like in person in real life it looks like you could touch those hands it is very clear this watch is very lovely. It feels like it has some kind of a character, some kind of personality. And that's exactly why it is in the Keepers. That's it. That's all the watches I would recommend checking out on Black Friday on Amazon and overall any other day really. So I really hope you're going to find something very nice, very lovely for yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.